all right good morning one and all welcome to the video my name is Samil Chah and in this video I would be teaching you how to write Elasticsearch query and do pagination you heard it right how to write paginations in Elasticsearch query so you don't have to do something complex by default Elasticsearch provides you pagination I'm gonna be using the Netflix movies data set for this example so let's get started so that's my data set right I, this is part 5 so if you're watching me from part 1 you should be good okay so that's the data set right so now let's say when you request it when you do a request basically it should only give me two records or ten records per page and then it should you know when you click on the next button it's gonna give you the next ten pages and stuff stuff like that so let's do that in Python so uh, let's go here I'm gonna go step by step and don't worry the code is there on my uh, my blog okay so let's write it let's make this step by step So import okay import the library guys uh, so let's run this so we need Elasticsearch and the Elasticsearch object so I'm gonna run that and it should print basically all modules loaded that means I know that all the libraries have been loaded right so here you can see we have that let's connect to the Elasticsearch database UP connected that's good now let's write a query uh, I'm gonna write a pretty simple query uh, let's do let's bring it here I'm gonna go on my website and I'm gonna write a very simple query so I'm gonna click on add exist field uh, let's say so I'm gonna say where the director exists so that field exists right uh, director I'm gonna use a match phrase where the director is what was this Richard right uh, let's go here director is Richard do a submit it's gonna give me a query that's my query okay so that's the query run that perfect so now what we do is basically uh, in Elasticsearch there is something called as um, es.search and you say index now index is our database name right uh, my database name was uh, my Netflix I showed that in the part one right so let's go here let's change this to this and the size is basically how many records do you want in a page so I'm gonna keep it to three for now and oops there you go we have an error that is because my variable name is different than what I actually thought all right there you go now I can print uh, the rest so it's gonna give you the scroll ID so if you want to go to the next page you can give the scroll ID and you'll get the so you can see you have the records right now if you want to go to the next page right what you can do uh, let me actually show you or else you will say hey you did not teach me that <laughs> Let's do that here. Oops, no, 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 no. That should be code. Perfect. I don't want to comment it out. All right. So the scroll ID basically is basically your ID that you got or the token that you received. Uh, let's copy that. All right. Let's run that. Oops, and we have error. Let's see what the error is. Request error 100 illegal arguments exception cannot parse scroll ID. Mm, that is because I think I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, I had a code problem. There you go. And now, again, if you run this, I, I'm going to get the next set of three records you can see. And again, if you want to go to the next page, you have the scroll ID, you can do that. Uh, so I also have a code to just do that in the loop. Uh, so let me actually run that one. So let me just run my query. Now run the this one. So it's gonna keep scrolling now. Uh, oops, because I had to run this one. And here you can see it's not going through all the pages, right? So you can do that. So please feel free to download this code. It's there on my blog. So that's how you would do pagination in Elasticsearch. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If so, do give a like. If you have any more questions, list them in the comment section below. And I would be very happy to assist you. As usual, uh, keep smiling, keep coding, and get better each and each and every day. Remember, learning is like eating. Uh, we need food to survive, all right? In order to even like. What I'm trying to say is every every single day try to learn something new. That's what I want to say. Okay. So with that being said, uh, if you have questions, please post a question in the comments. And um, if uh, for some reason I'm not able to answer your questions, you can drop an email at five one nine at the rate. 
if you want to have a talk with me on a personal like a video call video call or something then that's my skype id so usually you have to take an appointment uh, usually because i'm not that free okay so book an appointment of course i'm not going to be charging you anything it's free of cost that's my skype id and we can get your doubts solved if i know right so with that being said thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video goodbye